Root Petres versus what appears to be no team bomber. Obviously, not completely sure about that. Maybe Red Bull bomber. Um, that would be my guess. Something along those lines. Not completely sure. Hmm. I think I set things to uh, Game Hearts Observer Interface, but we're not on a Game Heart map. So that's why this is over here. <laughs> I guess. So maybe next game we'll have a uh, nice overlay from Game Hearts. We'll see if we can get a map started on there. <clears throat> Destiny, you aren't around, right? You're not just quiet. Alright, cool. So, I'll go ahead and do the introductions for us, guys. Maybe I should be a little bit louder, see if Destiny wakes up, if he's sleeping. And in our bottom left corner, we're going to have the Terran Bomber, a very good player, I've already mentioned him. Very good at ZVT. And top right, we have Ruth Petraeus, a, I believe, Challenger League player. Or, no, he actually almost made it, but Iagus knocked him out. And, but... He did min win the qualifier for this tournament right here, Lone Star, by beating Agus right back. So, um, just something to think about. And Petraeus scouting around, making sure there's no proxy racks, and eventually kind of running home, throwing on a hatchery now. Uh, safe macro, basically. Bomber, on the other hand, is going to go for a uh, command center first, which is as greedy as it gets. Six pool would have killed him. Shame there is no, uh, well, maybe not even if he scouts with it or if he walls up here, yeah. If you put a supply depot here real quick, barracks, maybe it wouldn't even kill him. Not completely sure. Not completely sure. Alright, actually, put the barracks right there. That's even better than putting a supply depot there. My apologies, guys. And, yeah, you know. Playing very solid Macri Petraeuses. Speaking like Yoda, I am. <clears throat> so, the placements could be a little bit better, but that's okay. It's gonna kind of see this and be like, ah, oh, really, really greedy play. Um, it's probably gonna have to consider taking his third. That's kind of the option or the debatable thing. Uh, Petraeus just kind of chilling. Nothing special yet. There's a little root logo spinning, a little Starcraft star. And, you know, uh, Bomber doesn't have a team here. Our team logo, at least. And there's that first Marine. He's running over there to the high ground, he'll be fine. <clears throat> Petraeus just rallying Marines to right there as well. He'll be perfectly fine as well. Um, so, completely standard, not even needing to make that many links to deal with any Reapers, because there are none. And I'm going to go ahead and tab out really quickly. It might freeze the screen for you guys watching, but I'm just going to make sure everything's okay with the screen. Alright, looks like it's okay. Looks like it's okay. <clears throat> Alright, it's back in game. Petraeus versus Bomber. Looks like he's going for a third command center. <clears throat> this is a sort of build that's going to lose against uh, any sort of cheese or all sorts of cheese, basically. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Petraeus has to kind of figure it out first. This overlord may see it, may not. Go ahead and turn off the music for now. And just try and commentate, etc. <clears throat> Looks like this is going to see it. And he's going to be like, alright, I could maybe do some sort of all in. Doesn't need to. You know, he's getting speed, getting very defensive. Um, has three queens. Doesn't. Yeah, make, making a fourth queen, wouldn't be surprised to see a fifth queen as well at some point. Um, and just expanding. He doesn't even have to worry about Hellions soon. Or, I mean, soon ish, but not right now, right? So, just normal things still. Petraeus just having map control with speedlings, sees what's going on. Bomber's playing a very 
I just want to macro heavy style. Doesn't seem to really care too too much. But he's gonna see. Your Petraeus now is gonna see that command center. That's all the information he really needs to know. Um, maybe it'd be nice to know this a tank coming along, but it's not a huge important inform. Not not hugely important information. Now we still know all those Vespian geysers. It could be some sort of. I don't know, double eBay soon wouldn't surprise me. There's one eBay. Yeah, second eBay right there. Yep, so double eBay play. It's just very, very macro heavy. He's saying, alright, I'm gonna maybe attack, maybe just defend until close to 200 supply. Go ahead and try and break me. Um, and Petraeus is just kind of saying, no. Um, I'm pretty cool just macroing too, man. Um, I'm just happy with my queens playing defensively. Doesn't even need to, though, right? So that, that's kind of the one mistake I'd say on Petraeus. Is he doesn't really need to be playing this defensively. He has these extra queens that aren't quite needed, although they are very good for group spread, so very nice group spread for Petraeus. And he doesn't really know, he didn't really know for sure that it was like a straight off the bat uh, tank marine hold defensive position, right? There's just no Hellions at all, none being made. Uh, so speed completely useless in this game, uh, you know, before whenever the first engagement begins, which, you know, from this whole tank defense is going to be a while. Um, he's not trying to expand to the third. I doubt he'll move out at all until 1-1 one -one is finished. Um, like, I can't imagine him trying to take this, like, seriously, by putting maybe, maybe a tank there, maybe a bunker there, he could maybe try and leapfrog there, but, I don't know. It's not going to be particularly easy. Well, I guess he's going to go for it. It's just going to say, alright, I have tanks, I don't think you're playing super aggressive, but how crazy would it be for right now just, uh, for a bunch of roach bandling, willing to just come in and it would just absolutely tear him apart. Um, even like Ling Mainling would, would be able to destroy that pretty quickly if there was a lot of it, right? But Petraeus just going full saturation, um, nothing too crazy. Making Mainlings defensively, just spreading creep everywhere. <clears throat> yep, yep, nothing crazy going on yet. Uh, standard stuff for you know the whole macro build. Wouldn't have been surprised to see a fourth base here rather than here, but that's not a huge deal. Bomber's playing like he wants to go into super late game still. Has that third base. Armory's finishing up. Only one medevac. Um, tank as well, etc. And that starboard on the way. Or er, uh, medevac on the way from the starboard. Excuse me. A couple more barracks. <clears throat> and. Yeah, everything's going fine. For both players at this point. Upgrades coming along. Petraeus is maybe slightly ahead. Maybe, because that's going there. He's going to be able to see this dropship, which is great. Lovely overlord position. Could creep spread. Um, at the most, what this dropship is going to do, I believe, is kill that overlord. <laughs> maybe kill a couple creep tumors as well. Not completely sure. Uh, Petraeus has had pretty amazing macro. And it looks like, you know, the whole not expanding here is going to pay off when uh, there's nothing for these marines to kill. They're just going to kind of look around and then probably run away. That's what I would end up doing here. Well, now you get to see something like, can 12 zerglings kill 8 marines? The answer to that role is yes, when their upgrades are similar. And the medevac isn't healing. So, nicely done there from Petraeus, defending perfectly. This has a bunch of links, not too too many banelings, which is just what he wants. Now he has the mutas up. Now those dropships aren't really going to do as much. Um, I'd love to see the spreading creep, but whatever. Only two mutas here right now. <clears throat> Definitely not going to catch this over, or uh, not going to catch this meta back, I don't think. Killed a, a bunker there? I'm not completely sure. At least he didn't kill the command center like Henry May did versus Aija. This actually didn't even try and run. And, yep, just still macro, four base macro from Atreus. I'd love to see it. Yep, Infestation Pit is ahead of me by a little bit. He'll have a hive shortly. And, uh, you know, again, just beautiful creep spread. Throwing down even some spines. That's smart. I'd love to see maybe a spore in the main. Maybe a spore over. Yep, well, spines, that'll do. I'd still love to see a spore right up here, too. Um, and now the mutas come by, they're like, hey, you know, we haven't been by to say hello yet. We, We've missed you though, we'll come say hi now. No Thors, which kind of surprised me, uh, surprises me a little bit. 
this build is a very uh, old build. It's kind of what I'm used to seeing, right? It's the old, uh, if this works, great. If it doesn't, maybe we're in a little bit of trouble build. Um, so if you ever miss micros this, it's it's just probably GG, realistically. And on the flip side, if he doesn't miss micro it for the Zerg, it's just going to be GG. Um, <clears throat> so he just has a bunch of this, right? I think it also depends a lot on if he just straight up walks on creep. Um, so you know, they're both max, they're both at 2-2. Two, two. Um, the Terran really, I don't think, even wants to engage until 3-3. Three, three. As odd as that sounds, like he, you know, he's kind of spread out and everything, but I don't think he really wants this fight until 3-3. Three, three. Even if uh, Bomber wants it, I don't think he should want it <laughs> until 3-3. Three, three. Trace is just going to spread out very nicely, and... Here's the army. Wow. Very nice by Bomber. Very nice. Just uh, kind of forcing him maybe to have to walk through a choke there. Not really what uh, Petraeus wants to have to do. Now the question is, is he overextending here? Um, 66 lings on the way. And Petraeus is just going to kind of flood in here. The Banelings have to make really good connections. And they're just melting. Bomber with his 2-2 two -two is just, hey, I, I knew I wanted the macro. And, you know, he caught him here a little bit with his tanks and siege. They're going to pick off a few banelings, but I don't know if he has enough coming in. The medivacs are rather low on energy, and there's those zerglings. I'd give the edge here to Petraeus at this point, even without having 3-3 and Terran having 3-3. Um, I don't know. Maybe he didn't get to pick off these medivacs. If he picked off these medivacs, like what Destiny was talking about, then he'd have the edge. Spreading creep here though, and here. There won't be a fourth base anytime soon. Um, and Bomber's 3 3 isn't even done quite yet. Um, yeah. And of course, Petraeus got to keep his mutas, and everything else is 2 2. Um, armor upgrade almost done. Still kind of on creep. That's the whole deal of why creep is amazing. Um, it takes so long for it to be removed a lot of the time. Love to see almost the counter with this, like going to remove the uh, reinforcements. He doesn't stop this reinforcement deal. That could be a lot of trouble very shortly. Not getting that tank was kind of painful too. Um, spines will do well. Or just the laying, which is really all he needs to do. Very nice pick off there. Um, nice pick up, excuse me, by Bomber to save those units. I still harass with just one. I'd love to see some more dropships and that sort of deal, but Bomber's just putting on the pressure. How do you even engage into this? It's kind of the question. And here's Petraeus' answer with a ton of banelings, a ton of lings. Can he do it though? Those tanks are situated just so perfectly. Um, but the, the Zerg army just keeps on going. So many banelings, so many lings, so many mutas. He's picking up the medevacs now. Petraeus just absolutely doing that amazingly. Um, you know, able to get all those medevacs and get out with all of his mutas, that's just what Petraeus wanted. He didn't actually spread creep with this overlord, which was kind of colossal blunder. Would have prevented this expansion for another two minutes or so. Um, maybe, maybe not two minutes, but at least a couple minutes. So at least two minutes? I don't know. So that, that's kind of a huge mistake that it wasn't spreading creep, but... Um, hey, Petraeus did everything else right. One mistake. Will that cost him the game? Maybe is your answer. Um, it is quite a big deal. Um, Petraeus just kind of flying around with some units. He's getting his 3-3, and he's going to... Not yet. Getting Adrenal Glands, but not yet going to Ultras. Oh, alright, I lied. Is making the Ultras Cavern, not getting the upgrade for it yet, though. Still sticking on Mutas. Has an absolute ton of Mutas. They have 1-1 one, one upgrades. Not too amazing, but, you know, better than 0-0 zero, zero for sure. Uh, Petraeus still not able to quite uh, crush through or push through at any point. Um, while he is mining uh, from his 5th base, you know... Terran has a 4th, and he has again that 3-3 three, three upgrade, which Zergs just don't want to see. Plus a small supply lead, um, even if I believe most of it... No, wow, Petraeus has even more uh, economy. Yeah, this is going to be tough for Petraeus to hold. The creep spread never really started again in this area, and that's just going to be really difficult. Petraeus could counter here, go for, you know, sitting in economy. But he, could also, he could also fight this. This isn't that huge of an army. You know, there aren't that many medevacs. It's just not that exceptional. If 
fight it. I mean, there's like 10 Marines, man. You have 20 mutas. I don't know, maybe not, but... Now that, you know, all these reinforcements are running in, now it's going to be much, much more difficult. Now I don't think Petraeus can deal with it efficiently until his... Wait, did his 3-3 finish? His 3-3 finished! Alright, he could do it, man. There's a chance, at least. It's not like he can do it or will do it, but there's a chance. Just kind of picking them off, like, even there, that's beautiful. Just what he needed to do. Now he just needs to kind of run those away, taking too much damage. Uh, needs those three Ultras to pop five minutes ago. He can't really be fighting that without those Ultras. But amazing, amazing shots on those Banelings, but still... Still just not quite going to be enough, it doesn't seem like. Um, this Petraeus just... All his mutas are crashing and burning. That's, that's never something really you want to see happen. His Ultras are crashing and burning. And there's the GG. I think without that fourth base, Petraeus could have just held, and that would have been just enough. So it's kind of amazing to watch what one Overlord spreading creep could or could not do. Um, very nice game by Bomber, don't get me wrong. I just was, of course, rooting for Petraeus a little bit there.